Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Blanco the Slime, and it's time for your What to Buy in GTA Online this week. Of course, we do these every single week when there is a new weekly update, and this one just so happened to come with a new drip feed vehicle, a new benefactor vehicle, which you are seeing on the screen now. The car looks absolutely fantastic. Rockstar did a really good job with this one. I don't know how they get away with these copyright things, man. It's literally a copy and paste of the real life version of the car. But anyway, we have a ton of discounts this week a, a few ways to make some pretty good bonus money especially for beginner players and we will get into all of that now i do want to say it takes one second to hit that like and subscribe button and it really does help the video perform in the youtube algorithm and also helps the channel grow and i do make consistent gta content so if you are new here welcome hit that like and subscribe man if you already been down with the channel then welcome back i do these every single week you know best things to buy in gta online where we pretty much go over the best things things to spend your money on in Grand Theft Auto Online, or even just your time, you know, what you should invest your time in, what's a good money maker, what maybe isn't so great of a money maker, and things like that, and I do this every single week, so if that is something you are interested in, definitely hit that sub and like button, turn the notification bell on so you can stay up to date with all my posts, and let's get into the video. So first, we are going to start off with some of the new content, and that being the Benefactor Vorschlag Hammer. Very, very long name, but surprisingly, the vehicle does not cost that much. $1.7 million in today's market in GTA Online is really not that much. Some of the new vehicles that have been coming out lately are like crazy price, but I definitely suggest getting that car. It's very good. Definitely check it out. But on sale this week at Legendary Motorsports, we do have the Overflowed Tyrant at 40% off, originally priced at two and a half million now only cost 1.5 million so of course if you are interested in getting the tyrant now is the best time to do so fair warning though it does have some downforce and performance issues but overall the car looks great and i think it actually performs pretty good i think people over exaggerate you know this car and how bad that it is i actually kind of enjoy driving it my only complaint is that it is very big man for a coupe it's like as big as a tank so just keep that in mind if you are going to purchase this vehicle now next up we do have the western Re reaver this is a motorcycle also located in the legendary motorsports website and this is also going to be i believe 30 percent off so originally 1.9 million now 1.3 million it's actually one of the better motorcycles in the game so if you are looking to you know get your hands on a new dope bike and you have a little motorcycle collection going and you don't have this the you know the western reaver now is definitely the time to get it while it is 30 percent off again these are both going to be located on the legendary motorsports website now moving on to the elitist travel this is of course the aircraft website you can find the annihilator for 40 percent off originally priced at just over 1.8 million now will cost you just under 1.1 million i don't know why you would buy this you know helicopter it's not really the best i would much rather just you know suggest that you purchase the sparrow or something like that but it does have pretty good machine guns and stuff like that. And if you just want another collectible to throw in your hangar and kind of fill up your aircraft collection, then go ahead and grab it. But honestly, I can't really suggest this helicopter too much. The Annihilator is not really that great of a helicopter. So if you are going to buy it, at least, you know, I want to make you aware that it's not really that great of an aircraft. So do with that information as you will. Now, moving on to the San Andreas Super Autos website, you can find the Bravado Hot Ring Hellfire at 40% off. Or I believe, it, no, excuse me, 30% off. Originally priced at 1.8 million, now just a little bit over 1.2 million. This is probably the best uh, hot ring vehicle in the entire game. So if you're into those race car style vehicles, this is definitely the car for you. The handling is absolutely amazing. The customization is pretty good. And it looks good, man. Honestly, this car is really dope. I own one myself. And like I said, the handling and performance, the acceleration on this thing is absolutely awesome. Next up, we have these two Dinka vehicles. Honestly, they both suck, so I'm not going to spend too much time on them. They're really not that great. So even though they are on sale, I cannot suggest buying them. But again, do with that information as you will. If you always wanted these cars, now is the time to get them. And then also we have 30% off the 
Ubermacht Reinhardt. Now, this is kind of like a, you know, hatchback slash like station wagon type of BMW vehicle. It does look pretty cool, though. Um, I do wish that it was more of like a SUV style, but I guess we have we already have a Ubermacht SUV for that. But the Reinhardt is definitely a pretty good vehicle. And it looks cool. The customization is cool and it is 30 percent off. So if you always wanted to get the Ubermacht Reinhardt again, this is now the time to do so. And I can recommend it. This is definitely one of the vehicles, you know, on sale this week that I can definitely recommend i own one myself and i do enjoy driving it and it looks actually very realistic to its you know real life counterpart but anyway let's move into some ways to make money this week of course that is going to be with the drag race series these are going to be double money and double rp and of course, the new vehicle that just dropped, the new Benefactor vehicle, is a drift tunable vehicle. So you can go to the LS Car Me and add the drift tuning and use it to compete. Now, another thing that is bonus money this week is going to be taxi work. And this is going to be double pay. And now, for those of you who don't know, taxi work did receive a huge buff not that long ago. And maybe for veteran players who have, you know, the Kale Perico heist and the Drake contract and all these businesses going, maybe it's not worth it for you to do. But for people who don't have those businesses or are more, you you know, on the beginner side of things, definitely looking to doing some taxi work, man. This thing got a buff of like three or four times more pay not that long ago. And now with the double money, honestly, you can make anywhere from three to 400K an hour doing taxi work. Now, keep in mind, the first fare that you do will be a little bit less pay as there is a multiplier for the more fares that you do. So don't be thrown off if the first few that you do aren't paying you much you have to grind these for an hour two hours straight and you can make three to four hundred thousand dollars an hour while this is double money so definitely take advantage of that if you don't own any other you know big businesses or any other ways of making money you can definitely do some taxi work and this is where it's located on the map it's going to be right under the diamond casino which you can see i have it pinned right here it's like a little taxi icon so you just got to head over there you don't need to own a taxi they will supply you with one you just have to go to the location and you can start up the taxi work again this is double money and you can make anywhere from three to four hundred thousand during this week while it is double money every single hour but anyway let's move into the podium vehicle this week it is going to be the pegasi Centorno. this is an og vehicle one of the better vehicles in the game even though it is old still has really good customization in modern day gta still has really good performance in modern day gta and i would definitely suggest coming here every single day and try and try to win it now i'm not a huge fan of this livery so if i did win it i probably would take this thing off it looks kind of disgusting but overall this vehicle is very very good so let's go ahead and give it a live spin like i do every single episode every single week i, I give this wheel a spin for you guys let's see what i get I think last week I got like clothing. I get clothing like 90% of the time, man. I think I'm just cursed with clothing. But let's see. That spin does not look too solid. It looks like we're getting clothing. Again, man, they, I, I I don't know, man. I guess Rockstar just thinks I need clothes. Apparently, I'm homeless or something because I win clothes every single time. But anyway... Definitely come here every single day this week and try to win the Pegasus in Torno. It's an awesome vehicle and you really can't go wrong, especially getting it for free. Now, next up, your LS Car Meet prize ride is going to be the Ocelot Ardent. Now, you have to place top five, I believe, for four days in a row. So just find a friend and race each other and, you know, switch back and forth who wins. But you only have to place top five four days in a row not too bad and the car definitely looks pretty cool so i would definitely suggest trying to get that challenge done now next up for the next gen players who do have hsw available your hsw test track vehicle is going to be the bravado banshee but there's no need to buy it here it will be much more expensive you could just buy it off the site and do your own customization and now for your other test track vehicles we have the fister comet s2 we have the fister growler those are the two that i would suggest that of these three that other vehicle to the far right i wouldn't really suggest buying it it's not that good great but these two fister vehicles although the performance could be a little bit better they do look incredible and i believe these liveries are exclusive liveries at least that's what i read so correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below but i believe all three of these liveries are exclusives so definitely go ahead and buy them if you're looking to add to your fister collection I think I might actually buy this Fister Growler myself because it does have black stock wheels, which if you're a fan of my channel, you should know I love vehicles that come with black stock wheels like the all black, you know, rims. So I'll probably be picking up this Fister Growler for sure. But out of these three, three vehicles, I can definitely suggest the Fister Growler and the Fister Comet S2. Now, moving on to luxury autos, we do have the new Benefactor Hammer vehicle available and also the Ubermach Niobe. Naobe, I don't know how you pronounce it, but 
I just say Niobe, but it is HSW compatible. That is being the Uber Mach Niobe. The new Benefactor vehicle is not. But if you are interested in buying these cars, you can get them here. But I would suggest getting them on your phone. It would be slightly cheaper because these do come with some customization. Now, unfortunately, at Simeon's, we don't have too much heat. Sometimes Simeon's has the heat. Sometimes it don't. But out of all the cars in Simeon's, I'll only go over these two because I think they're the only ones worth buying. And that is going to be the Benefactor Strider and the Dubachi 770, which is based off the Aston Martin 177. But out of these two, out of all the cars in Simeon's, I would only suggest these two. Not too much in the form of customization, but they do perform pretty well. So, you know, not a must buy by any means. It's not like something you absolutely should get. But if you are looking to pick up something or add something to your collection and you and you stop by Simeon's, you know, like I said, I would suggest the Dubachi 770 or the Benefactor Strider, which is this, you know, olive green car right here. So these are the only two I would suggest in Simeon's this week. Other than that, nothing really too special. We're not even going to go over them. Now, heading over to the gun van this week, we don't have any like crazy weapons. You got the combat, the battle axe, the stun gun, the rail gun, the SMG, and then just the compact grenade launcher and a carbine rifle. But I would suggest getting the rail gun if you don't have one. This is actually a pretty good gun, especially for taking out aircraft. Now, moving down to the salvage yard, unfortunately, no claimable vehicles this week, so not really much of a reason to go to your salvage yard. To be honest, this business is only really useful when a vehicle is claimable, in my opinion. When there are no claimable vehicles, I don't even go to the salvage yard, to be honest with you. So comment down below. I'm curious to know if you guys go to your salvage yard if there's no claimable vehicle or if you only keep the salvage yard for when the vehicles are claimable like I do. But anyway, let's move on to your time trials this week. Your regular time trial is going to be located down on the bottom of the map in Los Santos. This will pay you $100,000 upon completion. It only takes two to three minutes. It's basically a free 100,000. Now I always recommend doing this for all players because again, it's $100,000 for like two minutes of work. Very easy, very simple. Now for next gen players who do have HSW available, your HSW time trial is gonna be located right over here, which is a little bit just north of Los Santos. And this will pay you $250,000 upon completion. It may take you two or three tries, but it's worth it. Cause again, it's basically free money, free quarter minutes million dollars you really can't go wrong so I highly suggest getting these done if you want to make some easy free money now that will wrap up our video for this week on what to buy in gta online let me know down below in the comments if you guys plan on picking up the new benefactor vehicle right here in the background it looks absolutely awesome man the customization is actually really good and the performance is really good so let me know man let me know if you plan on getting your hands on it i definitely did and i definitely don't regret it now again hit that like and subscribe button it takes one second of your time join the slime squad you won't regret it and until the next one peace out boys